I hear Pyro's in. I heard that if you pick Pyro, it breaks your game. That being said, I will try to go to the jump point if it's in. Oh, the server FPS. Yeah, true. Server FPS is really high right now. Let's wait till there's 200, 300 people on, yeah? One server per planet? It's one server for all the planets. Each planet... Let me explain it this way, guys. Every planet has an invisible border around it. One, two, three, and then wherever Hurston is, four. And that server only contains those four planets. It's literally server one, server one, server one, server one. And then everything else is server two. As far as I understand. That, that's how I understand the test. Could be wrong. How many people are on the server? Right now, like 60. It's filling up. This test literally just started. Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't do that. It just, like, cut me out of QT for no reason. Um, Weird. They want to stop me from going to Pyro. 200. Okay, so currently server FPS is at 30 FPS right now, which is pretty impressive, guys. Pretty impressive. So currently we're at... Did I just change servers? Did you guys see that? Is that what just happened? It literally just said a different number, two different numbers up here. And I got like Thanos snapped under the next server. I'm pretty sure. Because look at this. These aren't even the same people. I had a guy named Victor something. Yeah, he's not here. I'm, I just got server mesh, man. Seamlessly. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. That is awesome. My server has crashed two times in a row. I'm uh, about 120 seconds to the recovery. Yeah, let me know what happens. Let me know what happens. I'd be very interested. I actually would like to 30k myself. Oh, well, guys. I have completed my wish. My wish has been granted. Oh sevens, boys. No, we should recover. We should recover. I wonder if it's going to pull me out of QT or if I'll keep on balling. Let's see. I'm 23.8 million away. Remember that number. 23.84. Oh, yeah. So it throws you out of QT, which is a little bit annoying. However, I will say I'm 20 million kilometers closer than I originally was. So... Not all bad. We are now, we were 20.8 and I believe we are now 8.8. So if we definitely kept going, just it cut our QT. Yeah, that wasn't too long. That was like 60 seconds, maybe. Pretty fast recovery. Oh, I was 24.8. Got it. Yeah, so still a pretty significant amount of distance that's covered. Now, I will say I'm having issues with my QT now. So maybe oh, another 30K. Okay. I was like a little confused why it was being non-responsive, but that makes sense. Three 30Ks in five minutes. Totally. But I feel like this is as expected. Totally. Totally. If you weren't expecting some major hiccups with server meshing, then I don't know what you were expecting. Flawlessly uh, was not de definitely not my expectation. I think we're 30 king again, unfortunately, guys. Hey, Bucks, just join. All right, let's keep flying the there. Bit? We're going to make it there eventually. Only 3,000 away. <laughs> oh, man. Still the same shard. Um, yeah, but I've transferred servers multiple times. So shard and server are two different things. The shard is like multiple servers put together to make one instance, so to say. 
which I know it's not an instance. It's just the way that I'm using the word. Like, uh, you, if you go click on a server on WoW, New World, uh, whatever, right? Any MMO, they're using multiple servers meshed together. Like, it just is not the same as Star Citizen. It's the same thing. What is my incapacity? <laughs> what the fuck? Why am I incapacitated? Um, guys, the I would say the most impressive part about this test is the transition is truly, truly, truly seamless. Like it is very, very hard to tell when you're transitioning. <clears throat> Yo, can you hear me? Hello? Yo, can you crouch if you can hear me? I'm just testing VoIP. Oh, nice. Thanks, dude. Have you, uh, have you done any of the server meshing stuff yet? Okay, yo, did you want to test something out with me, actually? So, th when you leave the planetary body, you change servers. I have not seen anyone have two people on a ship yet and change servers. So, if you want, you can hop on my ship or I can hop on yours. Okay, sounds good. I'll follow you. Yeah, three. Oh my God, what's happening over here? Okay, okay, okay. He got the hammerhead. Okay, cool. So I'll just stand in the cockpit with him and we'll see how it goes. Can you hear me? Yo, I can hear you now. <laughs> uh, okay, I had to figure out what the push to talk was, but. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Board. Yeah, thanks, no, man. No, it's all good. Yeah, I appreciate it. Hey, not a, not a problem. Yeah, I figured it'd be good, too, if I'm not in your party. Because, like, I want to know how the game kind of recognizes, like, someone who's not on your party being transferred onto a different server with you. Like, I'm very interested in, in seeing it work. So, we've got items on the ground. This guy's next to me. I'm not in his party. On, a, on his ship, we're going to change servers. And I'm going to continue to talk to him the whole time. And we'll see if it holds up. All right. It's going to make me go to an OM marker. So this is maybe where you're going to um, get lost. I think the... No, no, I think the OM... OMs are close enough, I'm pretty sure. I think you'll be fine. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and do All it. Right. I think this one will be fine. OMs will probably be covered. Did he jump? <laughs> Did he jump? Yep. Okay, guys, are we going to get owned by the NPCs? Let's find out. Hello? Oh, you want to hear something funny, guys? I flew all the way here. And the mission I accepted has still not populated. Both the missions I accepted are not working. So there's not even any enemies here. I accepted a bunker mission. Oh, wait. Is that an NPC? Hello? Officer? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Pretty responsive, actually. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Run, dive! It's Shoot the automatons. First, ask questions later. Oh my god, dude! They're actually kind of scary a little bit. Yo, are we finally playing Star Citizen? Freeze! Dude, there's a lot of them too. This is actually a little scary. Okay. There are NPCs at the top of this ladder. A hundred percent. Do you think that if I crawl up the ladder, they kill me before I'm able to respond? What do we think? <gasps> the ladder's gone! What the hell? <laughs> Uh, 
All right, that answers our question. There should be some guys on the roof. This might get spicy. Stealthing. Freeze. Uh oh. I don't see anyone. Is that Kale still? Oh, it's a Redeemer. Mr. Redeemer, this is the FBI. Please land your ship and turn your weapons off. <laughs> Yo, did you guys see that? He was being shot at by an NPC. I saw his shields like flash. I'm bummed VoIP's not working. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where is he? I think we traded. Yo, Flood is dead. I need some help. That guy, like, he snuck out of nowhere. Where did he come from? Yo, Flood, I need some help. I'm on the roof. Was that a player? No, it was NPC. He, like, I guess spawned on the roof next to me and started shooting me. That was crazy. Oh, is this him? Yo, Flood is dead, bro. If you're listening, I fucking love you. Oh my god. My hero. Thank you, bro. I've got a tier one to the chest now. Yo, we're playing Star Citizen, guys. This is actually pretty difficult. If it stays like this, whenever it launches, man, oh my god. I mean, missions and gameplay, are, I mean, Operation Overdrive would have been actually really fucking fun if NPCs were this hard. Oh! You cannot just, like, sit out in the open anymore. Uh, yeah, this is PTO. Okay, all right. I think the thing that people need to realize is that this server meshing is not a catch-all for all networking problems. And here's how I can explain that. Is we've already done a test where there's only been one server on one planet. Do you guys remember? It was when we filled out an entire server for multiple days of 100 people on Microtech. And how'd that go? Pretty... Um, you know, it's pretty hit or miss. Sorry, what's the question? Do you think they'll drop 4.0 and go on a long vacation after 4.0 with working server meshing and will really start pushing for content? Um, no, I think after like, I don't think that's a ridiculous question. Um, I think that CIG will probably go on a extended break, maybe like a month. I, I, I'm being serious here. People will take time off once Squadron 42 releases. After the release is done. And what I mean by the release, I mean like weeks after the release. They'll probably take some time off. But the other thing that will happen, dude, is people will leave. A lot of people. There's going to be a lot of devs who leave. A lot. And what people don't realize is that's totally normal. That's totally normal for gaming companies. So when... A lot of people leave after Squadron 4 2 releases. Don't freak out. It's totally normal. How's the test going? First hour was terrible. Uh, the second hour that I've been playing has been pretty good. Pretty good. Only a couple of 30Ks. Transitions between servers are seamless. It's pretty good. Do we have any idea for the Squadron 4 2 launch? I would guess announcement date at CitizenCon this year, release sometime next year. That being said, if CIG releases Squad of War 2 within even six months of GTA 5, I... Unless it's on the front half. If it's on the front half, that's fine. I think you could do it within maybe three months. The second half, though, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to buy... Oh, man. I wouldn't try to launch any game. Any game. I don't care if it's... There's not going to be another game on the planet that can continue with GTA 6, dude. 
If it gets delayed, that is amazing news for CIG. They need to be watching that release date like a hawk. Even Squad of 42. Also, why am I back in New Babbage? I set my spawn at Grimhax. Okay, cool. All right, all right, cool. I don't know what just happened. Um, everyone out of the tunnel, quick, before the train comes. Quick, quick, before the train comes. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, God. We're going to get crushed, bro. Yeah, maybe I can just run outside. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's going the other way. All right, we're safe. It's going so slow, too. What the hell? Some funny business is happening in Norison. Dude, some funny business is happening on my server, too. <laughs> I think the whole oh, Norison disappeared. Oh, sorry. I mean, this makes sense to me, guys. This is literally just test number one.